And starting off our show tonight is another fantastic band. This will make their fourth appearance down here in our studio and on the show. So please welcome a warning. The autumn leaves drift by my window. Fallen leaves. All right, guys. So this is all, some of our fourth appearance. So I think I've been the constant for all four times. You've been times. the constant yeah. all four times. Yeah. But we have a new band member with we us do. this time. We do. So why don't you introduce yourself, sir? Uh, my name is Kenny. I'm a bass player. Uh, these guys are my friends. <laughs> and I went to school at uh, DU together uh, back in the day uh, with Eric, the old uh, third person. Yes. Third member, yeah. So we got rid of Eric. Kicked him out of the band. We just uh -huh. sent him on a cruise ship. Sent him back. Yes, yeah, he's now cruising. Italy. Yeah, he's yep. in Italy right now, yeah. which is so amazing. <laughs> yeah. And now the wonderful Kenny's joined us. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So what's the, it's, is it a new feel, new style at all? It's a little bit of a different dynamic. The thing uh, that is great with, with Kenny is, and you'll see he plays the stand-up bass, which adds a lot of yeah. drive and power and rhythm and everything to it. So um, that's a new dynamic. Uh, and without Eric, there's a, it's just a different sound because Eric played like 18 different instruments. So <laughs> Yeah, Eric was doing the job of at least two band members. Okay. And he was kind of our rhythm section, our second melody player, and our backup vocals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've changed things up a bit by uh, adding Kenny for sure. Yeah. yeah. And Kenny, how long have you been with the band now? Ooh. Less than a year. Yeah. Less than a year. Yeah. Okay. Played with months. them a little bit yeah. uh, back in the day, you know, while Eric was still there. Okay. Just to add some So color. it was a slow transition. You just didn't, like, yeah. kick him out all together. Right. <laughs> Have right. you enjoyed playing with Avorning? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, this is the moment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> going to walk out right we'll now. We'll send you packing, too, if you say <laughs> that. We're going to have to break up of Avorning on air, possibly. <laughs> What's the best part with playing with the three of you guys together? Um, well, I really liked with having Kenny there the possibility. Uh, having a bass has added a lot of um, possibility for like counterpoint with the melody yeah. and just kind of more complexity in, yeah. in that range. Exactly. So, yeah. And uh, just the, um, the variety of sounds that he can get from the stand-up bass and he also, I mean, he's an uh, expert bass player of all kinds. So um, we're planning some other stuff. We're going to do a Bob Dylan cover show later this year. Very fun. Um, and so that'll add a whole different element to it. It'll yeah. have a little poppy, rocky sound to Very it. So cool. it's just, there's a whole bunch of new things we can yeah. do. Yeah, you guys just did a show at the Clock Tower mm -hmm. um, a little bit ago. How was that? It was great. We um, were with a band. We did a dual show with a band called Avon Heart, which yeah. is another really good folk outfit. Um, and I'm at the Clock Tower every week. Uh, so that's my home base. That's family. Um, so it was really fun. So you did that show. You're doing Bob Dylan cover coming up here fairly at, soon. At the Clock Tower, the yeah. Clock and Tower. that's November. <laughs> they keep having me back. I keep bugging <laughs> them until, yeah. It's like you know somebody there. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Exactly. Um, anything else coming up? Um, yeah. Well, we'll be playing in, there's a new Celtic festival in, I think, Westminster, right? Yeah, it's so right on the so. border. Uh, it's near, um, uh, it's right on the border of Denver. It's Clancy's Irish Bar, and it's okay. the first year they're doing uh, this festival. Okay. So it should be really cool. Very cool. So you're playing there, and you're playing here tonight for us. That's right, yep. Yes. What are you playing tonight? So tonight we're doing two tunes. We're doing an old rebel song. So um, uh, for those who don't know, we're, we're primarily an Irish band. We do a lot of Irish music. And this is a um, tune called Rising of the Moon. And this is one of those ones that has come down over the decades. Everyone worth their salt in the Irish music scene has done it. Um, it's a it's one of those Irish tunes that's about a bloody ballad, but it's the most sentimental, heartfelt uh, tune. So it sounds like a love song, kind of. It's a love song about a bloody ballad. Yeah, exactly. And we've covertly implanted uh, one of our original tunes into it. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's the nice. instrumental section. It's okay. the original <laughs> march tune. Um, and then we're doing an instrumental uh, song, which are it's a combination of different fiddle tunes. Yeah, we'll be doing an instrumental set of uh, Langton's Reel and the Mason's Apron. Very cool. And so, Kenny, I think we've talked with everyone else in the past how they got into Irish music and folk music. So what is your story? How did that come to be? Uh, I guess mine was a little bit dorkier in some ways. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can get dorkier I, than Adam. Look at the tweet going on over here. <laughs> All right, maybe it's not that dorky. But, uh, Challenge accepted. <laughs> You know, when I was in uh, high school, I played in uh, a wind band, even okay. though I was still an upright bass player. Like, there's a special little corner for upright bass yes. and wind bands. <laughs> um, I'm not making that up. But uh, my band director had us play a lot of really standard literature for, you know, wind ensemble. And one of the pieces, or a couple of the pieces um, that are really, like, 
standard in that repertoire are like English folk songs, suites, um, things like that. So hearing folk music through that context kind of got me like, oh, this is cool. I yeah. like these melodies. You know, it's really catchy. And I like it. And my friends noticing them doing it, and I was like, hey, that's really cool and catchy. I want to do that. <laughs> Perfect. So having you guys on so many times now, I want to know what is the goal five, you know, ten years down the road for a Vornin? Well, my ideal is that we'll get enough notoriety and uh, popularity that some kind uh, person will buy us trips to Ireland every year so we can go and play. <laughs> um, that's the ultimate goal. Um, for the immediate future, I mean, we've, we have been playing a lot of different kinds of gigs. We've been doing a lot of contra dances. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, we're going to Nebraska in September. Very cool. So uh, we've been lucky enough to start spreading out a little bit. And I think, for my mind, I would just like to continue that trend. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, we've, we've played a lot of the regional Celtic festivals at this point and that sort of thing. I think we're looking to expand on a more national scale. And at this point, I've met a lot of my idols. <laughs> but I would love to really share a stage with them. Yes. Um, in Celtic music in particular, there's kind of a, there's kind of a bent towards supergroups, right. where once you get famous enough, all the other famous players will yes. uh, link up with you for the summer and you can tour as a supergroup. Exactly. I would love to tour as a supergroup. Yes. That's, that's my big That would be pretty big, cool. The big, big goal, goal is to become a super group. <laughs> we went to a, a festival called Spanish Peaks last year, and there's an Irish band called the High Kings. And uh, we kind of debate about them, but they're a super group, and they're out of Ireland, and they were featured there, and they actually pulled me up on stage, and I sang Whiskey in the Jar with them. Wow. And that wet the appetite. He died for, right there. Yeah. This is actually the ghost of Adam <laughs> we're talking to I right would, now. Yeah, I would probably, Spooky. yeah. It's yeah. Like... But just on that theme, I mean, we have had a chance to meet so many amazing players. Um, and uh, just, I mean, even from the Colorado Irish Festival this past summer, yeah, there were sure. a lot of really high-profile acts. So. Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'm very excited for you guys to play tonight. I can't wait for it. And thanks for coming on again. Thank you for having Thank us having again. Yeah, of course. Perfect. We love being here. Uh, all right. Stick around. We will be right back. I used to hold since you went away. The days grow long. <laughs> 